Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So now I'm going to show you guys how the Sapphire Radeon Nitro Plus Vega 64-bit limited edition 8-gig card, how the 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 lights on the card itself work. So in order to utilize those, we're going to have to use Sapphire's Tricks Nitro Glow software. You can see that right here on my screen. So right when you install it, you're going to be on a custom color. The custom color you see now is the color it came with in green. So uh, what we can go to pure blue color. Then we can go to rainbow random color. Mind you, I'm going to go ahead and leave everything at 100 brightness. We are in a lit room. Then we can also select color change by PCB temperature. Now, this one might take me a while to actually show you guys how it works, so I'm going to skip over it. Now, this one is pretty nice. So first off, you are going to notice the fans are not spinning on the cart. I'll give you a second, zoom in and show you. They're perfectly still. So now, to not only show you them spin, but spin, you know, change colors while they're spinning, I'm going to go ahead and open up Rise of the Tomb Raider. Unfortunately, it doesn't heat up the card very much, or at least in the time I'm going to show you, but at least you get to see the, the lights when the fans spin up. still in blue right now. Alright, so now they turn white for a split second, now they turn purple. And you see they're not going to be spinning at full speed. See how they're stopping and starting, stopping and starting? They only really turn on when they're needed. Alright, so that's about it. So you saw white, you saw purple. So now, let's go ahead and stop the vent for it. Okay, so then we can also select custom color. Whatever color we want. Again, this came green, but we can make it white, we can make it red, we can make it yellow, green blue, go through all the colors. And then of course we can get change whatever color we want here. So kind of nice and it even lets you get as granular as changing the colors here, the, the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back what it was, I believe it was this green, and I'll just leave it there. And some of us don't like all the RGB, so we can just turn it off and leave it to be forgotten. So aside from this, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back to rainbow so that it goes through all the colors. The bottom of the card is not the only place where it changes colors, so it also changes colors right here on the little sapphire logo and then also it changes colors I'm gonna to have to lift the camera for this one it also changes colors right here on the sapphire nitro logo it's kinda of cool so anyway again I just wanted to show you how all the lights are on this card. It's not only a beautiful card, and it performs pretty well too. You'll see some more of that on the site, and then some more videos as well. 
Anyways, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. Just showing you guys again how the Sapphire Radeon Nitro Plus Vega 64 limited edition card works with the LED light. Iggy out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.